Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore the old File Explorer ribbon or the old File Explorer in Windows 11. In this video, I'm going to show you two methods. The first method would be the easiest one and the second method would be the manual version of the first method. So as you know, if you have Windows 11 installed in Windows 11, we have this new ribbon for the File Explorer, which is sometimes pretty hard to use if you're not used to it. So maybe for a while you want to stick with the old Windows 10 ribbon and in this video as I've said I'm going to show you two methods that will help you restore the old ribbon in Windows 11. For the first method you will need to install the program WinArrow Arrow Tweaker. We're going to have this link in the article down below in the description and you just click on the download button next next and finish. It is a pretty easy installation and after the installation is finished you will have a desktop icon Win Arrow Tweaker. Just open it up on user account control click on yes. In Win Arrow Tweaker you're going to have to go into the Windows 11 section and click on enable ribbon. You're going to have to check enable the ribbon UI in File Explorer. As you can see, after you enable this option, you will restore the now classic ribbon user interface in File Explorer. This option has a side effect. It also disables the share command in File Explorer that invokes the modern sharing command and dialog with store apps. Don't disable this feature if you rely on this way of sharing data. After you check enable the ribbon UI in File Explorer, just click on restart Explorer and the File Explorer will be restart it. Now let's see the result. If we open up the file explorer, as you can see, we have the old ribbon or the old file explorer in Windows 11, just as easy as that. Now, if you want to restore, just uncheck this option, click on restart explorer and the explorer will be back to its default ribbon. Now for the second option, if you don't want to use any third party apps, maybe you don't like using third party apps. I'm going to show you how to do this manually using the registry editor. Just click on the search box, type in here, regedit, right click on registry editor, and then click on run as administrator, and on user account control, click on yes. Expand H key local machine, then software, then expand Microsoft, then go down to expand Windows, expand Windows, then expand current version, and then scroll down to find shell extensions, expand shell extensions as well. Right click on shell extensions, click on new key, name this key blocked, press enter. So in the blocked location, all you need to do is to right click on an empty space, new and then string value and name this new string value with this name. You're going to have this name and all the locations used in this video in the article down below in the description. After you set this name for the new string value that we've created in the blocked location, just exit out from the registry editor and restart your system for the changes to take effect. After the restart, if you access the file explorer, you should see the old ribbon in the Windows 11 file explorer as easy as that. Now, let me show you how to restore the new one. If you've used the registry editor method, just open up the registry editor yet again, right click on it, run as administrator, user account control, click on yes, and navigate again to the blocked key that we've created and just delete this string value by right clicking on it and then clicking on delete, then yes, and again, restart your system and the changes should take effect. Your new or default Windows 11 ribbon should be re-enabled. After the restart, if you open up the file explorer, you should see that the default ribbon from Windows 11 is enabled again. So this was the video for today from TechBased. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.